Hello, do you have a price anchor in your business? If you don't know what a price anchor is, or the answer to that question is no, then you're gonna to wanna to listen to the whole of this episode because it's a really powerful technique that's going to help you increase your average dollar price, your average dollar sell. It's going to help you generate more revenue, and in fact, it's gonna help you generate more interest. It's gonna get more interest into your business because of the price anchor is a great thing to uh, draw attention to you. So what is a price anchor? A price anchor is kind of like a, a comparison. We have all of your different products and services, but the price anchor is the thing that's at the very top. It's the most expensive, it's the most exclusive, it's the thing that people would probably wanna stretch for and get. Now, not all of your customers are gonna be able to go and buy your price anchor, but the very fact that you have this thing that's maybe a little bit out of reach for some people makes them want to, to go for it, to strive for it, to have it. People want the best for themselves. So uh, maybe let me give you a few examples of price anchors. Uh, let's think about in terms of the coaching and consulting space. Someone that I've done a lot of work with in the past uh, is a guy called Tony Robbins. Now he sets a price anchor very well. He'll stand on stage and he'll say that I will work with you as your coach if you pay me $1 million per year plus a piece of the upside of your business, plus there's a 12 month waiting list. Now, that's a very good price anchor because the the perspective then to get Tony's knowledge or insight is you have to pay a million dollars plus to actually be able to work with him. Not everyone can do that. However, you could go and join his, uh, his platinum program, which is something in the region of 70 to 100,000 per year, okay? That seems all of a sudden way more reasonable. You can get access to the guy and be on his program for 70,000 a year. Or if that's not for you, you can go to his events, at tens of thousands per year. Or if that's not really uh, gonna fit for you, you can work with a coach from his team and that could range anywhere from the thousands to the tens of thousands of dollars, okay? Now, all of a sudden, working with a coach and his team for thousands to tens of thousands of dollars seems way more, uh, way more, uh, favorable is a good good comparison than paying the million dollars. You can still get someone's help and experience who's been trained by him, but it's not, a, it's not at the million dollar mark. Now, some people will, of course, will want the million dollar mark and will only go for that and will only take that and will pursue him in order to get that. And of course, he's gonna get paid very well and handsomely for doing that. So this is the idea of the price anchor. Let me share quite a few more examples with you then. I had a client who worked as a personal trainer and they were typically running a lot of boot camps, a lot of um, you know, group, settings and workshops and when we decided about the idea of a price anchor the idea that they come up with is let's do some overseas retreats now all of a sudden these overseas retreats were probably going to cost two or three times more than the current packages that they were offering right now and they put that up there and they said kevin if i manage to sell uh four spots in this program at this price i'm gonna get a free holiday and i'm gonna get to go and hang out with these cool people now in actual fact what happened is that person on the first attempt sold six and i think then even the next event sold eight tickets uh, in order to to do that so not only were they going to get to do overseas trips with their favorite clients but they were actually earning money whilst doing that and that was a price anchor the clients were willing to stretch and pay more for, for something else um i've got another great example i really love this example because uh it just shows that it will work in any in any industry or any uh, any business I had a lady I worked with in Sydney. She ran a cat hotel. Now, the price to keep your cat in the boarding for the night, it may have been something like $30, $40 per night, something in that region. And she didn't think that this price anchor idea would work for her. So we, we kind of brainstormed around a little bit and we came up with this idea, well, what would be the most luxurious thing that we could do for cats? What is like the biggest extreme that we could go to? And we just kind of decided that, well, it could be possible that the cat is looked after by a, a maid 24 seven. Um, when the cat arrives, it's served like a prawn on bone china, cutlery, it, you know, it gets cat massages. Uh, it has, um, I think it was other luxurious food. And here was the cool thing that the owner could FaceTime or Skype with the cat any time they wanted during their stay. Now, when we discussed this, we were being quite elaborate, you know, just being quite creative. And in creating this idea, we decided, okay, well, what would it actually cost if someone wanted to take this up? Now, the cost of having someone around the clock 24 seven to look after the cat and Skype and FaceTime, it would probably take two or three people to do that. So we decided the price would need to be in the thousand dollars plus. So we uh, we did that, we put it up on the website, we, we wrote about it to the newspapers and the very exciting thing that happened off of that, I don't know if you can see this on my screen, is there was a heap of press and PR that came out of it. You know, all of a sudden the press uh, wrote about this, felines lap up the life, uh, the luxury life. And they spoke about how uh, the cats could stay for $1,000 per night. Now, it was a little bit tongue in cheek, 
right? We weren't expecting anyone to come and maybe buy that. Um, and actually, I, I don't think at the time that we did this, I don't think anyone did come and buy that. However, it got her a lot of attention and she had more people coming to buy her 30, 40, $50 a night. Okay, so this is the point of the price anchor. She never actually sold that thing. I, I, I don't think to this day she sold this thing. Um, I have to check in with her, but she sold more of the uh, 30, 40, 50 dollar nights. So the price anchor got the attention and created more work for her. Uh, let's give you some other examples. This works in food and beverage as well. Um, I just checked online. You can actually go to a restaurant and buy a $5,000 burger. $5,000 for a burger, right? That's a lot of burger. Now, they're clearly having to make the experience a little bit, little bit more unique. It's done by a top quality chef. You get an expensive bottle of wine uh, with that. You get some glasses you can take away. So the experience is in there and there are people who are paying $5,000 for a burger. Uh, let's go to another extreme. Let's talk about fashion. Um, you may think that a Gucci handbag, you know, I don't know what you would pay for one of those, two, three, four, five thousand dollars I'm, I'm not sure the price point on those, but they have a price anchor. You can go to the other end of the extreme and buy the one that's diamond encrusted, which is a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. I even saw on their website that you can buy a belt, a belt for two hundred and fifty six thousand dollars. Now that gets people's attention. They want a piece of Gucci. It's luxury. It's it's you know it's it's is is the top of the range, and so people then. They can't get the two hundred fifty six thousand, but hey, they're gonna the two thousand dollar bag is gonna seem you know, very reasonable in comparison. So this is the idea of price anchors. If you don't have a price anchor, I encourage you brainstorm. What is that thing that you can put on top of your current offerings? What is that thing that would be uh, even more exclusive or high end that would have your clients potentially reaching for it and buying it, or having them wanting to buy more of the uh, the lower price products? So as a price anchor. I encourage you, take up the challenge, create a price anchor and let us know how you go. As always, please, if you like this and found it useful, share it, subscribe, give me some love or some likes or something like that and that we'll keep doing it. And we'll be back tomorrow to keep talking around pricing. We've got plenty more uh, to share with you there. Have yourself a great day.